Alexandra is amazing. She is the brightest light in any single room you enter. Rolling back the tape a little bit, you know, when we were pregnant, we had just a wonderful, non-eventful pregnancy. We're at the hospital. <laughs> we got here, I've uh, been laboring since one in the morning, and then we got here around six. And she was born healthy. Between nine months to a, a year, we noticed she was missing some milestones, and we were concerned, and we brought up those concerns to our pediatrician. They listened to our concerns and referred us to Phoenix Children's Hospital for a chromosomal microarray. So we got in with their geneticists there, and a few weeks later, I got a phone call. And my cell phone rang, and it was the extension of Phoenix Children's, and my heart just like stopped. On the other end was our neurologist actually calling and said that he received the results and they came back with an abnormal gene on chromosome 18. He had said the words Pitt Hopkins and TCF4 and all these words and basically she's missing one gene. It's called TCF4. Immediately I was connected with the Pitt Hopkins Research Foundation and just started reading and learning and discovering more about this new world that we were just literally launched into. Pitt Hopkins is a very severe syndrome. It involves major challenges so that most of the children can't talk, most of them can't walk. Um, they have an IQ around that of a one-year-old, even as adults, and they have major autism symptoms, meaning very limited social interaction, often repetitive, restrictive behaviors. One of the worst problems in terms of quality of life is severe gut pain. Constipation is a big issue with Pete Hopkins and GI issues many times are associated with the gut flora, the gut microbiome. Actually, the gut microbiota and GI issues is what convinced me that I should work with Dr. Adams in autism because when I learned that many children with autism have a lot of GI symptoms, and that if you can actually make those GI symptoms be better, reduce those GI symptoms, their behavior improves. Most people with Pitt Hopkins syndrome um, never learn to speak. I'm really, really grateful that we found out early enough that we could pivot and offer her an alternative to finding her voice. And so she uses AAC, which is Alternative and Augmentative Communication. It's essentially an iPad that she uses as her voice. And she's come so far through the support and the amazing infrastructure here at her school, she is thriving. And while she's on a different trajectory than most neurotypical kids, she's on her scale. And every week we learn another new little thing that she's you know, mastered, and we like to call those inch stones. Because honestly, in our life, uh, milestones are just too far apart. So where most kids are you know, trekking off to t-ball practice or soccer practice or swim lessons, you know, she's learning how to walk. When my daughter was diagnosed with autism at age two and a half, we were devastated, you know, to be told that she had a challenging disorder that would affect her the rest of her life. My wife and I just decided we're gonna love our daughter as much as we can and try to support her. But then a few years after that, my wife encouraged me to look into research and to say, can we make a difference? Can we find treatments for it. And so that was when we began looking into nutritional interventions. So we're researching the causes of autism, how to treat it, how to prevent it. And as part of that, we're also looking into children with Pitt Hopkins because that's a special single gene uh, disorder that often involves autism. There are a lot of universities that are doing a lot of research on autism and the microbiome, and they work with mouse models, and they, well, we are the first ones that A, showed that by changing the microbes in the gut on kids with autism, you get improvements in GI and behavior. We're the first ones to show this in the world. When they had started publishing their research on what they were able to do for the autism community in this space, and truly eradicate the uh, GI issues within the autism population, that really attracted the attention of us in the Pitt Hopkins syndrome world. And so through Dr. Adams and Dr. Rosie's research at the Autism Research Center and of course Biodesign and Arizona State University at large, like 
They literally are the leading in MTT, which is microbiota transfer therapy. The treatment that we started is what we do is we add microbes um, that come from healthy humans. The microbes come from feces and they get purified and they can be put on a capsule. They can help uh, reduce uh, the constipation, which is a huge burden for these children. And if GI gets better, normally also there are, there are, there's comfort for the children, so they're more able to learn, they're more able to listen, they're more able to do a lot of things that was difficult when they were in such deep pain. Personally, I just feel so fortunate that Arizona State University has taken on the very ever first human trial for Pitt-Hopkins syndrome patients. We're hoping within a week or two to hear from the FDA that we can go ahead and apply for drug approval of this treatment for Pitt Hopkins. So we formed a company to raise funding so we can pay for the application to the FDA and then also to continue researching these treatments for autism. It's just so exciting to see the improvement in these children, to see that you know, for some of them it's the first time they haven't had this major gut pain and to see that um, now, as many parents say, their child just is happier. It's a dream, honestly, to think that one day Arizona State University could help eradicate the most debilitating issue of Pitt Hopkins in my daughter, period. Like that, just being able to say that, it brings tears to my eyes. Because ASU is known for a lot of amazing things in this world. There is no shortage of headlines on how ASU is changing lives. But now ASU is truly changing the life of my daughter. Knowing that the, this research can truly help her for life is amazing. Yeah, give me that smile. <laughs>